Okay, so Rack Pack Official did a good job answering this question, but I am a total nerd, so I will go a little bit heavier into SD, um, standard deviation, and kind of what that means relating to reloading. So, standard deviation is just a normal statistical term, nothing unique about it to the gun industry, but it does help when reloading and kind of finding out the odds that your velocity is going to be consistent with what you think it is. So here's the equation for it. I won't bore you with it. You can go look it up if you want to. Um, but here is a little bit more of a sample set kind of showing you what that ends up meaning. So over here, I've got five different numbers simulating velocities in a five-shot string. So from these five different shot velocities, you get an extreme spread of 37. Um, just the high minus the low average of 3015 and then a standard deviation comes out to be 20.2 so standard deviation because it's a statistical thing you want it to be as low as possible and i will kind of show you why right here so when you plot multiple points on a graph you end up typically with something that looks like this called a normal distribution curve and what that means is the closer you are to the average the better chances you are that your velocity will be close to the average. You get more shots in this range than your extreme high and your extreme low. You start to get less numbers of shots. So statistically what that means is you want to be able to know how consistent your shots are going to be. And three standard deviations is the typical. Statistically it means you have about a 99% chance of predicting the right outcome. So that means that 99% of your shots will be in a velocity between three standard deviations high and three standard deviations low from your average. So with an SD of 20 and an average of 3015, you end up with a high of 3075 and a low of 2954. So statistically, you've got a 99% chance that your velocity is going to be in that range. The problem with that is, is that gives you a potential extreme spread of 120 and when 50 feet per second at 1,000 yards can make the difference between 8 or 10 inches of drop, um, that starts to be a problem because you just can't maintain consistency with the varying bullet drops. So compare that to down here. I just did the numbers with a SD of 5. And that gives you a max of 3030 and a low of 3000, meaning that band of what the odds are that your bullet will be in that velocity is much smaller. And